Hi guys. It is a gloomy, drizzly day here in the end times in the former paradise of deep south. We're not we're not even in South Austin, Texas anymore. We're we're actually uh, leaving Travis County, heading into Hayes County, heading out to the Old Settlers Music Festival. Uh, you know, this used to be when you used to get to this point where the freeway ended and you got on this little uh, country road, farm to market road, 1826. Now, doesn't that out to Driftwood, Texas, doesn't that sound romantic? The farm to market road uh, out here in the uh, out here in the boonies. Uh, this was truly, I mean, a, a drive out in the country just a few years ago. Look at this shit. Trucks entering roadway, road work. So it looks like, I guess, they're adding new lanes uh, to our bucolic little country road here. We got the Planet Eaters. Barely 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, look at this shit. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know, guys, it's so fucking hopeless. I mean, I don't know how many just driving out here uh, this morning. How much of advertising now? It's like every goddamn commercial. Oh, did I say it was Tuesday morning, April 18th, 2017? Uh, so I'm listening to the, this damn advertising on the radio now it's like every fucking business at least in austin texas is using this this uh eco this this eco that uh about how austin texas is, is some sort of little progressive greeny save the planet town so you've got so, so you've got these little uh, corporatist uh, little mainstream environmentalist uh, actually trying to convince somebody we have we you know we have what, what all have I been hearing of course the goddamn solar panels you know the the organic pest control about how they're gonna come poison your lawn uh, with, with this shit that's supposed to be good for the planet and, and, and of course, making no comment, you shouldn't have a fucking lawn in, in Texas. It, it totally misses the point. It, you know, it's, it's just more and more uh, of this unadulterated fucking horseshit. Uh, uh, you know, these little greenies. Look, look at this goddamn thing. Look, look at this. Well, welcome to the country. Uh, you know, these fucking little greenies acting like uh, they're just going to go right on about business as usual, planting their fucking water-sucking lawns in, in Texas because they're hiring some uh, organic uh, lawn control. Uh, it, it's a fucking joke. L look at this shit. And meanwhile, you got that going on. And, and then on the other side of the fucking dial, it, you have this clueless fucking moron right wing, uh, whatever you want, a pile of adipose tissue named Alex Jones, who I'm pretty sure lives. I think I'm out in Alex's neighborhood. All right, we have a brand new shell station out here in the country. You know, Alex talking about, uh, and I partly agree with him, about all of this smart growth and, and this Agenda 21 where they're sticking all of these clueless moron little yuppies uh, down there in the inner cities such as Austin, Texas. Uh, so, they, so the New World Order can throw a big net over everybody and send them off to FEMA camps. Uh, Alex Jones acting like the, uh, the Agenda 20 uh, model is no longer happening 
Uh, he ought to take a drive around his own goddamn neighborhood. This entire, I, I mean, this entire road, you can't see it off to the side. So they, they have this little ribbon of green. You know how they do that shit here we are now. We're stuck behind some other goddamn we, we got a fucking I don't know what we, we got a goddamn road grader Followed by a dump truck here comes another goddamn dump truck all of these these fucking gated communities Where all of these goddamn clueless fucking millionaires such as Alex Jones uh, fleeing uh, out here to the hinterlands to, to get away from the FEMA camps and the New World Order so they can build their goddamn, you know, fucking uh, McMansions uh, out here in the bucolic countryside as, as the fucking road graders and dump trucks and all of this shit. Look at this fucker. He's, he's heading off down uh, some other... Uh, they're going down to some other goddamn construction zone some new fucking subdivision going in here uh, Jesus fucking Christ so they can build a whole, whole new subdivision of, of these goddamn things look at these fucking things Fox Run Fox Run hell yeah you ought to see the foxes and everything else I wish you there's no way you can appreciate what I'm looking at uh, uh, up here, just beyond the Buddhist temple, there's this Buddhist temple where the Buddhists used to come out here to flee the city. I wish you could see this fucking thing up on the hill. Jesus, I guess you reach it through there. This goddamn thing, I think it's a single family home. It looks like, you know, maybe it's Alex Jones's. Uh, new house out here. The motherfucker must be 20,000 square feet. Every single tree. Rim rock. I love it. Rim rock. Is, we got fox run. We've got rim rock. Oh yeah. I can see a whole lot of smart growth going on. Okay, what do we got now? Uh, th this has all happened, guys, in, in, in the past few years. Uh, let's see, we have Arbor Canyon. Look at, look at these signs here. This, this is just the signs for th this, each one of these. Here is uh, this fucking, I didn't even get the name of it, from the 900s, Luxury Homes. Luxury Homes. Uh, Here's from the 600s. Here's from 450,000, a regular bargain. And uh, here's the, look at that goddamn thing. Of course, it's for sale because they're probably trying to get further out in, in, in the goddamn country. But if they get any further out than this, they're gonna smack into fucking San Antonio. Here is Woodland Estates. I can't believe it. Woodland Estates actually left some woodlands but behind its goddamn gate. Look at this fucking gated community. What have we got here? What's the name? Oh, this is Rim Rock, Rim Rock Phase 2, I guess. Good God Almighty, guys. This, go, this shit goes on for mile after mile after mile. This was all woods. A few years ago, when I used to come out here to the Old Settlers Music Festival, this was woods. Uh, here we now, we have the Fall Creek Vineyards. And then they're building all of these vineyards out here uh, in Texas. What the fuck? Of course, this year, Texas looks like Ireland, as you can see. Uh, you know, it goes from biblical drought the biblical flood I think I'm finally starting about uh, about one mile from uh, Camp Ben McCullough uh, I finally start feeling oh, oh look at this goddamn thing uh, look at this fucking thing putting in all of their new cell phone towers you know rolling out 
uh, rolling out the goddamn cell phones for the new clueless fucking morons. Jesus. So, uh, I, I'm not even, uh, so I'm, I'm arriving at work where I, if you saw my rant yesterday, so what my job here is, is try to convince people to save $60 by parking their gas-sucking cars uh, about three minutes down the road and taking a shuttle bus back to the campground. Uh, instead of spending $60. We thought $60 uh, might be some sort of deterrent. I sold three, three of these free parking passes yesterday. So uh, anyway, so here I am at work going to work to try to convince these clueless fucking moron, moron uh, fossil fuel uh, addicts to get out of their car. But as I say, yes, I've got, I've got no room to talk, guys. I've got no fucking room to talk. Uh, I was trying to buy my handicaps friends uh, handicap parking sticker to put on uh, my car. Uh, can you see these goddamn things? Well, look at these fucking things. I mean, everybody here, I mean, look, you know, it's fucking Hummers and, and the, I mean, these outrageous goddamn uh, Taj Mahal's on wheels out here where people, they, they can't come out here and, and spend like three or four fucking nights in a tent. Uh... Jesus. Anyway, I got to get to work trying to convince these clueless fucking morons to park their car a half a mile from here and take the shuttle bus. But, you know, $60, that's no deterrent anymore. $60 is nothing. So what are we going to fucking do next year? Are we going are, are to make the deterrent $200 to leave your fucking car for three nights? Uh, you know, we might as well turn this into a fucking money-making operation. Jesus, we are so, we are so fucked, people. We are so fucked. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the country, but it does look like the sun is coming out here in the end times. Bye, guys.